Hello there, good afternoon. Um, I know we're live on YouTube because there's loads of you posting comments from New York and Ohio and all over the place. Um, I'm having a problem with Facebook. I can't see any comments on there at all, so I don't know if you're there. So I do hope so. So I'm not ignoring you. Um, I'll keep refreshing and see what happens, but can't see anything there at all. If anybody's watching on both, let me know, won't you? Uh, now here at uh, Short Hours, it is rather warm. As you can probably tell, hair gets straighter and straighter as we go on. So I may well put the aircon on if that's all right with you. Apparently it sounds like running water. Um, but better running the water, <laughs> better hearing running water than me see than seeing me melt into water. Uh, let's have a few hellos from Angel. First one in today, Angel, in Houston, in Texas. Donna in Chicago. Uh, Margaret in Hertfordshire. We've got uh, Margarita in the Costa Rica. Oh, we're so multinational here, you know. Do as you're saying. Uh, whew, flies. Um, Carol's in Monteo, New York City. Is that? Christine, hello. Oh, Mary McHugh, hello. Um, scorching in Renfrew. We're going to get uh, thunderstorms this weekend, apparently. We did yesterday. We had a bit of a storm going on yesterday. Sarah's in Oxfordshire and Sheila's in Alabama. So, sorry if I miss anybody. Um, don't know what's happening on Facebook because it's saying I'm unconnected and normally it's really busy there. That's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Anyway, we shall carry on regardless. Um, what we are going to do in this little show um, is to make a bag like this. Now what I've done already, I'm trying to get ahead of myself here, um, is to make one up and I've made a video for it and when we finish here or at five o'clock this afternoon the video will be on YouTube so if you want to watch it without the chat then um, then you can do and I've put the sizes on there for two different sizes as well it's a lovely little bag and it's ever so simple to make let me show you what we're going to do so it's fully lined no raw edges on the inside we don't like a raw edge you know oh Mandy's there on the on the website hi Mandy um, I've still got nothing on Facebook oh I hope you're there um, and you can adjust the size of it as well. So it's perfect for a little bottle bag or a lunch bag. Um, maybe if you've got kids, you want to carry your baby wipes in it and that kind of thing. Um, so that, that's what we're going to make in just a second anyway. Sunny and warm in West Yorkshire. Hello, Karen. Um, hi, Leslie in the world. Now, do you, mind, do you mind if I put the central heating on? Because I'm melting, literally. If it gets unbearable, let me know. I talk louder to compensate for it. Um, hello, Kathy in Illinois. Nancy Hyde, hello to you. Oh, I've got your Nancy frame. Nancy frame for Nancy. Need to get that in the post to you. Um, Angela's in Ontario in Canada. Hello to you too. Let me try Facebook again. I just don't like the thought that people are trying to watch and I'm not there. I'm just getting a spinny circle on Facebook. A bit odd, isn't it? And I've got a blank screen on Facebook. Oh, now I'm there. Or, oh, am I there? I don't know. I don't know if I'm there or not, but I can't see any comments. Anyway, we'll, we'll carry on. Regardless. I think Facebook is worth... Oh, Facebook is worth... Maybe it's just me then. I do apologise if you're watching on Facebook and you're sending in messages because you tend to, right from the start, I can't see them. Which is really quite bizarre. But I, again, I shall... I'll keep refreshing. How strange. So I'm not ignoring you, Facebookers. Just can't see. If you're all hiding, you're, you're all behind the sofa doing that. I know where you are. Cannot see you on Facebook chat, so I came here. Oh, okay. Blame the weather. Blame everything on the weather. Right, we'll, we'll carry on anyway. Um, hello, Kirsty. Um, Bobbin seems to be all better. Yeah, I think so. She, if, if you watch her really carefully, she does put a weight on the good leg. So there's still a bit of a problem there, but she's, she's perfectly fine. Um, she's realised that this is the only place in the whole building that has air con. She's on the floor down here. Chasing flies. Um, okay, now I've got a little bit of news. We're, we're not incredibly busy. On, on the website on Debbie Shaw Sewing at the moment because we're, we've got the new website coming in um, which will hopefully be on Monday. So we thought we'd have a quiet week this week. 
and then these came back so we're not going to be quiet after all um, th these handles normally sell out on the day so Kim keeps ordering more and more and more we've had a huge box full arrive today but they've only just gone on the website about an hour ago so if you want to get hold of the handles please can you order as soon as you can um, because by tomorrow they won't be there then I'm going to start getting lots of messages saying one of the handles coming back and I'm sure she's ordering more but they come from the Far East so it's on a slow boat from China I'm afraid they take a long time to get here if you haven't seen them before um, this is one of the styles of bag that you can make with them and this is actually on the blog on, um, on Debbie Shaw Sewing's website that's my website that sounded odd Debbie Shaw Sewing um, so you've got all of your instructions if you want to make a bag like this um, and I explain how I've actually designed this bag as well so you could make your own bag from it um, so the important thing is the curve that goes around here let me show you how that works and who are, oh, who else there oh hi patch day Facebook isn't working don't know what's going on with Facebook that's that's really annoying um, this is the important bit because this is the bit that fits the handle underneath there you can make this bag any shape you like so if you wanted to come down and around and chop off that bit if you wanted to make it a square bag if you wanted to make it a much bigger bag make it a much smaller bag that's entirely up to you but there are full instructions on the blog what I've done here is to use an embroidery thread which is the same kind of color as the hoop and literally hand sew that all around and because on the inside I've used a green fabric so you could see this cream colored embroidery thread I just used a, um, a green sharpie pen and coloured in the green part so I don't know if you can see that the green's coloured in only up to the edge so the, the so the embroidery threads kind of blends in is, is what I did there so that's that um, so again if you have a look on debbieshawsewing.com go to the blog oh I've got a ditty for you um, that'll be in a minute have a look at the blog and have a look at that but I wouldn't leave it till the end of the live if you wanted to order those because they just they just go like hotcakes um, hi Sarah met up with a sister and niece oh how lovely um, oh shout out from Jamaica Sandy shout out to Jamaica um, oh god you like it Jerry nothing further on the move can you believe March March and we're still supplying paperwork it's ridiculous and I feel really sad for the people that are moving into our place, hopefully, because they've got kids at school and they can't register them in school until they've got somewhere to live. So it's getting a bit embarrassing, really. Um, Anne-Marie Thornton, our quilt sewing club opened today. Oh, yes. Oh, lovely. An Arabic fabric. That's, that sounds nice. We've still got nothing on Facebook. That's a shame everything seems to have any anyway let's um let's get over ourselves apologies if you are watching on facebook again can't see you in fact i've got a frozen picture of me going which isn't the most flattering of things to happen um oh happy birthday for yesterday derby welsh um oh alana's got her mug i haven't got my mug yet I, I might i might have a lemonade in my mug later on if my dear husband is watching um more on order if you wanted those mugs um jerry i'm glad you like the mug oh i've missed some of you susan's got susan's got her handle she says sue from croydon shirley's making bottle and gift bags oh. um right should we do some se oh no ditty a uh, ditty t ditty or so ditty or so okay ditty wins put those put those there okay um, I, I only kind of scribbled this down yesterday um, so be, bear with me for just a second because I can't write my handwriting is you know when you type all the time and then you try to handwrite it doesn't doesn't work very well does it um, okay ditty 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 says Debbie Sarah and Amanda okay here we go I can't do it. I can't sew. Try as I might, I can't get my seam straight. I just can't get it right. I can't do it. I can't sew. But please don't take the mick because I use my sewing machine less than the quick unpick. 
I can't do it. I can't sew. Maybe it's just fate. And it's not just the sewing. I can't even cut straight. I can't do it. I can't sew. It fills me full of sorrow. I think I'll leave it all for now and come back to it tomorrow. I can do it. I can sew. I found after much heartache that things just worked out better when I took a little break. I can do it. I can sew. I've turned what was a mess into something stylish, a cushion, a bag or a dress. So if you feel that you can't sew and that you just can't cope, just put your work to one side, come back later and don't give up hope. You can do it, you can sew, don't get frustrated or distraught because you know that we're all here with encouragement and support. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking about writing a ditty about growing old. I had, had, one, of those, had, had one of those moments, yes, I'm really old, aren't I? So I hope you like that one. That was Ditty of the Day today. Um, I'll have to post that, won't I, on, on Facebook for those who aren't there yet. Uh, Janet left the cushion behind me. Is that the gift wrap one? That was made by um, Melissa, my friend Melissa, who designs all of the, uh, the quilts for the Half Yard Club. Um, she made that one to showcase my brand new fabric. Mary, I'll put it on the website. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tina, I don't know if I said before, um, I, uh, um, a long time ago, I love Pamers, um, in fact, 1979, I, I won a beauty contest when it was quite the thing to do um, for um, ATV, which is a local TV company. And in the final, that one of the judges was Pamers. She's lovely. And she wrote a ditty. And I can't remember how it went, um, but the final line was that she was, she was in the lineup and she was second from the right. And I was actually second from the right in, in the lineup of girls and, and I won it. And my mum was there, my mum and my sister were there. And um, my mum approached Pam Mayers afterwards and asked if she could have the ditty. And it was only scribbled down, you know, just like on a, we didn't have computers in those, so just scribbled down like mine is on a piece of paper like this. And she signed it and gave it to my mum, which I've got somewhere, but I can't find it. So I was thinking, about, when I find it, I should read you Pamela's ditty, which, which wasn't necessarily dedicated to me, but it was quite a, a coincidence. Um, glad you like me ditty, Heather. And Olive. Oh, hi, Olive Van. How are you? Um, <laughs> I think I wrote it for most people, Sarah. I wrote it for myself sometimes. Um, right, should we do some sewing? So again, this is what we're going to make. And just to remind you, at five o'clock, so just after we finish here, it will be on um, YouTube, my YouTube channel, with all of the measurements and everything for both sizes, no matter which one you want to make on there. Oh, hello, I'm Lisa with a spanner. Did you hear me, did you, Lisa? Um, can't stay long today. I don't, I don't kind of expect on a Wednesday, so it's nice when you turn up. You and your purple spanner. Hello, Tammy in California. No, G, it is an old ditty book, but it's not the old ditty book. I'm, I'm trying to go, th go through remembering ditties, ditties of the past and rewriting them, but not getting very far. Um, right, let's get on with this, shall we not? Okay, if you just joined us, by the way, it's the air con. It's making an awful lot of noise. Um, but if it's oh hello Nicola, but if it's not the um, if it's not the aircon on, it's me in a soggy mess. So we, that's that's why that's why that's on. So do bear with me. Right. So that's what we're making. Let me show you what we've got. Now I'm I'm talking in inches because that's the way I speak. But if you um, if you're in centimeters again, have a look on the on my YouTube channel later on, and it'll be in inches and in centimeters. So. For the outside of the bag, and remember we're making the taller, thinner one. You can make this in any size that you like, but that's the one that I'm going to show you how to make now. Can't hear your aircon above the noise of my fan. <laughs> Let me switch it off for a bit. It'll be back on in a minute, I can guarantee. Okay, so these are the outer pieces. Just need to recheck. Um, 
thermal fleece. That's a good idea, Jeannie. I could do with wearing thermal fleece. 13 inches down by 8 inches across. So that's the back of the bag. And then the front of the bag is made up of two pieces. So this one measures 4 inches down and this one measures 9 inches down. And again, they're both 8 inches across. And then I've got a zip that's going to be in between the two. And it's quite important that your zip is a little bit too long because we don't want those metal stoppers getting in the way. Hi, Hazel. I'm very good. Thank you very much. Um, I've also cut out a piece of the outer fabric to make the handle. You can make that as long as you want it to be. Um, if you wanted to make it into a shoulder strap, that's fine. This is going to be quite short. Um, sorry, that's going to have to go back on again. Um, the now the christmas fabric linda i was told by um the suppliers that it was expected the second week in august but on their website it's saying the end of july so i need to i'm going to go up and see them actually next week um mm. <laughs> it was only a lightweight jumper um and, and actually I've, I've, i'm not wearing anything down here so that's, that's, that should be keeping me cool um yeah, so um, uh, hopefully it'll be before, be before the second week in August, but that's what they're planning on at the moment. Oh, hello, Kimberly Hyde. I know, we've got... Um, oh, the mugs are out of stock till August, says Kim. I don't know what's going on on Facebook, Kim. I went live and everything, and on, um, on the website it's saying we are connected... Definitely it says connected, but nothing's happening. So I just thought we'd go ahead anyway. We're having a Facebook free day today. Which is a shame. Anyway, we're sewing. Can't remember where I was. So those are the outer pieces and I've put H640 on the wrong side. You will need some kind of interfacing because otherwise, otherwise it's going to be a very floppy bag. Hello Alicia in Mexico. Um, so I'd go H640 instead of 630 if you have the both of them. You could use a bosel, um, that would make a very firm bag, or like, can't remember who mentioned earlier on, the, th the thermal um, interfacing would work really well if you're going to use this for food, because that keeps things hot or cool. So those are the outer pieces. And then for the lining pieces, obviously you don't need the handle. So there's one piece to go with the back. There's one to go with the top. And there's one to go with the bottom. 34 degrees, Mary Bennett, how are you coping? So of course you don't need a handle piece to go with these. So let's put the zip in first of all. And just like before, and I do quite a few zips. Um, I like to do them individually. Uh, as in I don't put the lining in at the same time. So make sure the stopper on your zip and then put that face down. A mixed bag of different interfacing, that's a good idea. And then I'm going to move the needle over to the left hand side. <coughs> so, oh, that's a little bit too close, isn't it? Let's see if I can just do that. There we go. Um, so on a computerised sewing machine, I know I've said before, but there's no stitch width to a straight stitch. So if you use the stitch width button, it moves the needle over to one side. So now when I come to sew the zip in, I don't need to put the zipper footer on because the zip's in the right position, right in the middle of the zip tape. Just makes it that little bit easier. Like so. degrees at 625 says Anne Marie oh good grief so that goes across the top of there and like so and then we'll sew the top half again facing downwards I like to sew from the zip side so I can see what I'm doing and we'll sew straight down this side of the zip do you know what I've done I've put it on the wrong side, haven't I, you daft thing? Have I? No, I haven't. I'm sewing the handle on. I thought that didn't match up. So the top of the bag, right sides together. 
they are similar in shape and size, so I'm not, I'm not making excuses for that one. Straight down the middle of the zip tape again. Like so. Then we'll need to put the, let me move those out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. We'll put the lining pieces on the opposite side of the zip. like so and I'm going to sew down the same place so these edges need to be lined up together Mary we haven't got a move going on at all it's ridiculous water. oh lovely oh a sparkly water you see what I'm tempted to do oh, I like the mat. <laughs> thank you Good, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Could have put a bit of gin in it, couldn't it? That's too early. Um, so again, just sewing straight down over the same line. Um, no, Mary, I was saying earlier that no news on the move. It's getting absolutely ridiculous. I feel very sorry for the people that want to move in here and the people who whose house we're buying. Right, so that's trapped the zip in between the outer and the lining pieces hello kathy in california this by the way is the um i think it's called sunflower sketches on the website and it's actually a very late chin o'clock lease so that's a birthday card you sent me um it's a very lightweight fabric it's a poplin um but with having the hs40 on the back it, it will um make it quite sturdy yeah that, that silky i am using h640 for this one if you wanted to use a thermal fleece that's fine um, anything firmer than that would be good you could use a decaville um, i just wouldn't i wouldn't make it without some kind of interfacing because it's going to be too floppy so then let's have a look here so i've got the wrong piece again so that's the top and then we need to sew in the bottom section here onto the opposite side of the zip so that goes across there like that I mean you can stick pins in here if you want to I, I tend not to um, with zips like this anyway I would if I was dressmaking um, because it's just as easy to just hold that in place and line them up but if you wanted to pin or clip them then that's um, that's fine uh, Marilyn's been very busy, she says she's sorry that she's late because she's been making. What have you been making? Oh Doris, have a nice day at work. I'll see you again next week. Nice to nice to hear from you. Oh, oh I've lost the website. Bear with me just a second. Um, there we go. Ellen, hello to you. Trying to, I know, I don't know what's happening with Facebook, Ellen. It's, um, it's just not starting today. In fact, on my website now it's saying we're live, but I've still got no comments. So sorry about that. Um, where have you gone? I've lost you on the website now. Kirsty, she loves Pamers. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. I wish I'd looked after my teeth. Oh, I, I, she's got to be on YouTube, hasn't she? We're going to have to have a look at some of her, some of her little ditties. Right, so that's what we've got. Okay, so I'm just going to switch the iron on and move that over there and move you over there. So, because I'm, I'm not watching Facebook now, I'm rearranging everybody so I can see you all. So you can go there. And you can go there. Now I can see what's going on. Okay, let me turn the iron on. So I'm just going to. Um, <laughs> I've got a very sleepy dog down there. I'm just going to iron the two fabrics away from the zip. And then I'll top stitch along each side of that. Jeannie, that is such a good idea. That was suggested earlier on. A thermal fleece would be very good. 
Um, doesn't have to be for bottles and lunch as, and lunch bags though. This could just be a nice little storage bag, really. Um, my little iron, Lizzie, is on my website. It's a prim mini iron, and it's really handy. So again, I'm going to press this away like that. I can't do anything about the captioning, Susie. That's not that's not my my thing. Hello, Alison Court, alive for the first time. Mar oh, Marilyn has been making a bolognese for tonight's dinner. Lovely. Um, Sarah likes the honeycomb bag behind me. Now that that one, that is that was I did that in a live. So if you have a look on my Facebook channel, and and on YouTube actually, um, there will be a live chat where I made it. But I'm actually editing a video at the moment, so on Saturday morning, just that project's going to be uploaded onto YouTube. Oh, thanks, Kim. Kim's put a post on Facebook. I don't know what's happened. I don't know. Very frustrating. Anyway, let's sew down each side. So there's my uh, panel with a zip in the center, and I'm just going to top stitch along each side here. So I can go back to the normal position of my needle and just sew along each side of the zip. Hello, oh, sorry, Ellen, I've already said hello to Ellen, haven't I? Uh, washing the garden surrounded by paddocks. Oh, Sarah's got three sheep. Very interested in what you say. They keep popping up over the wall. <laughs> Did you get wool from them? Or are they just pets? I hope they're just pets. Um, no eggs home. Right, so that's what we've got. So now because I've made the zip too long, I can cut this down. And I can cut this end off, but don't forget to move the slider out of the way. Now I'm actually using part of a continuous zip, so it's, it's kind of joined together at the end. Um, if you're not, then now I would leave the zip open, actually, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. So you've got one end of the zip open, so now I'd sew that back together so that um, it, it holds it together while we're constructing the bag. So just put the two ends together and within the seam allowance, so quite close to the edge, just sew across the end, so that's joined together like so. Right, now we're going to cut off the corners, because we're going to make the, the, the bag base square. So I need to mark one and a half inches from each corner. Again, if you're in centimetres, have a look at the video on YouTube later on. Um, where I'll give you all the measurements in inches and in centimetres there. So let's draw a square in each one. And on the lining side as well, and the back. So I'm going to do these both at the same time. And again, one and a half inches. Where's my one up? There we go. I'm not very good at these rulers that have half inches on the ends of them. I think they're, they're made for quilters, aren't they? There we go. The new Eleanor. Um, Karen, I bought myself a little 560. So it's not quite, uh, it hasn't got as many stitches as, as the machine that Kim had. Um, or the alphabet, but I don't use them to be honest, so that was absolutely fine for me. It's a, it's a nice little machine. Got it on Amazon, don't you know? Right, and then we're going to cut out the corners. Like so. Um. Another one, so that's in the, the top and the bottom of all of the pieces, through the lining and through the outer fabric as well. 
Mary, I, I don't shop on eBay very often. My husband, on the other hand, is, is quite addicted. Um, he, he collects um, antique furniture and paintings and things like that, so there's, there's quite a few bargains to be had. And actually, we've been selling quite a lot of stuff on eBay as well, hoping that we're going to be clearing the house a little bit when we move. If we move. Right, that's what we've got then. So that's the front piece, and that's the back piece with the, with the corners cut out. So now we need to put them together. So I'm just going to turn that off a little bit. Um, a farm toy book. Oh, have you, Margaret, from the Half Yard Club? Um, I've seen quite a few people. So it's, it's still getting warm with the air con. I've had to leave the door open so Bobbin can go out if she wants to, although she's fast asleep at the moment, which kind of defeats the object of air con, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I've had a few messages from people that are going to make quilts using the plique from that one. Right, let's put this together. So we'll start off with the outside pieces. And these are going to go right sides together. Now measure at this point that the pieces are all the same. Because I've allowed you to kind of take half an inch, well, an inch from the centre to allow for the zip. Um, but if you're sewing a little bit closer or further away, you've got a wider zip than mine, you just need to make sure that these front and back pieces are all the same. And then we're going to sew together the front with the back, but not the lining. So let's move that out of the way. And I will, if I can find them, stick a few pins in here as well. Whoops, there we go. Jumping out at me. Um, Donna's making a storage cube from So Essential. Lovely. An elder, oh, elder, elderflower cordial. Now, my mum used to make elderflower champagne when we were little. Um, and it, she said it hadn't got any alcohol in it, but I, oh, I'm sure it had. It was gorgeous, so it was really nice. Um, right. So we're going to sew down the, the side, across the bottom, down the other side, but not these cut out corners. <laughs> Multitasking, says Nancy. Um, let's sew down here. Remember, not around the corners. Straight across the bottom. And down the second side, and I'm oh I'm look I'm I'm reading your messages as I'm sewing, so I'm not explaining what I'm doing. Um, where I folded the lining out of the way, I'm only sewing up to that lining piece. So don't go all the way around. We're just oh we missed that bit. We're just sewing up to the lining piece. That went a bit wonky. Hello, Naomi in Australia. So that's that. And then let's move the lining out of the way at the top and the bottom. And we'll sew the top pieces together. I'll take the pins out. That would be a good idea. So you can go back in there. So again, with the top, we're going to sew up the side, across the top and down here and stop at the lining. Hazel's made a beach bag with a gardening pattern. Oh, how lovely. Oh, you must post pictures. I know you can't do that on, um, on YouTube, but if, you've, if you do use Facebook, it'd be nice to see your pictures on there if you can. Or, of course, on Half Yard Club. Oh, I haven't checked your photos for, for a while on there. Talking of which, I know we're not on Facebook at the moment. Oh, I hope it's going to be all right on Saturday. Um, Saturday is... Um, Oh, what did... Oh, there we go. Excuse me a second. Saturday is the sew-along for the Half Yard Club. And we're just going to make a little triangle pouch. So you may have made them before. A lot of people don't. I just think they're quick and easy and they're fun. And I'm thinking Christmas. Um, 
made from Christmas fabric and hanging on trees or advent calendars or something. So that's what we're doing on Saturday. But it's going to be two o'clock because on Friday night it's um, Search Press, who I run the Half Yard Club with and who are my publishers. Their party, it's their 50, in fact it should have been their 50th anniversary party last year but of course couldn't do anything last year. So they're having a big party on Friday night. So I won't be back in time for an 11 o'clock, so it's going to be 2 o'clock on Saturday for the sew along. But if you have a look on my Facebook page or the Half Yard Club Facebook page, you'll see all the details of what, what you need to make it. Right. So that's the outer pieces sewn together, front and back. So now we do t need to do the same with the lining. Sarah, you could make that into a doorstop. That's a good idea. Right, so let's put these pieces together. And just like before, I only want to sew the lining pieces, not the outer fabric. And I'll need to leave a turning gap. So in the um, YouTube video that I made for this, I left a turning gap in the bottom. There's not an awful lot of room in the bottom. So this time I'm going to just leave it in the side. Let's just match all these up together. Okay, Lisa, I shall struggle on without you on Saturday. You, you, go, you, you go to Plymouth. We'll be fine. You have a lovely day in Plymouth. We shall struggle on without you. We miss you when you're not there, you know. Right, so again, right, I'm sewing the lining pieces together um, only from where that seam is there, only from the outer pieces. And I'll leave the turning up in the other side. Don't let me forget the turning up. <laughs> Sarah says all the sewing's wonky. She tells her partner it's part of the wonkies. That's a good idea, deliberately wonky. You can't have a, a wonky street project unless it's on the wonk. Turning up. Second side. And stop at the lining. Lisa, of, of course, of course we'll miss you on Saturday. Of course we will. Um, Linda's multitasking. Pear and elderflower. Oh, lovely. Okay, so we've sewn around the bottom piece. We need to do the same with the top piece, just like we did before. So again, on the sides and across the bottom. I'm not quite matching up, that. just move that so it does. So from the seam, it doesn't matter about getting right up to the seam, we will, um, we are going to top stitch that in just a second, I shall tell you. Oh Anne, I don't know what you mean. Um, straight across the top here. And then down this side. Again, just up to that seam here. Okay, and then where the gaps are, because at the moment there's going to be a gap where the zip is. We're just going to sew straight across. If I show you from this side on the line, you can see there's a gap here. So we're going to sew straight across just to sew over the zip so we don't have a gap at the end of the zip. So just for about an inch or so over there. Um, Dexter's mum, I, not really, to be honest, not really, I use a universal needle for most of my projects, um, unless it's very, very thick fabric, and you, you will find that using a denim needle makes a difference. Um, denim needles aren't just for denim, they're, and, and they're stronger, they're not thicker, they're stronger needles. Um, no, Hassan, my, my machine doesn't backstitch automatically, I'm pressing a button to do that. Um, specific sizing. No, uh, so no, just universal needles. Um, I, I'm a bit, um, I never say that I'm lazy because I'm not, I work blooming hard. But where needles are concerned, I tend not to put too much consideration into them. Whatever needles in there, I'll just, I'm just going to use. 
Um, so I'm assuming that's a universal needle until I struggle with it and then I'll put in the denim needle if the, if the fabric's really thick. I shouldn't admit that, should I? I should be saying that I use a specific needle for every project. I do change the needle regularly then. Okay. Now we're going to square off the corners. So with each one of these corners, we need to pull it out like so, so the side seams sit on top of the top. This seems a little bit fiddly, but it, it's okay. Ignore what's going on here. We're just going to concentrate on that opening. And again, if you want to pin that, that's fine. I, I find on fiddly bits like this that the pins get in the way. So all, all eight corners we're going to do this to now. Working smarter, that's what I like, Jeannie. But lazy, certainly not. Right. On this side. Done the turning gap. It's in the side here. Oh, is the zip open? That's the other thing, isn't it? I think I'm sewing with the zip open. We'll soon find out. Um, and then on the bottom sides here. You know, I've got aircon here and door open there, and there's more heat coming through that door than you can imagine. Not complaining. So when I change the needle, which one do I use? The universal ones again. Always go to the universal. I, I, I get through more universals than anything else, Susie. Um, felt for the middle. Yes, Mary, absolutely fine. Yeah, F felt is as good as any kind of interfacing, definitely. Um, Andre, if I'm going to increase, now it depends what you want to do, let me show you. So, if you're increasing the size of the bag, so this is what we're making at the moment, right? So if you want to make it wider and you want to make it longer, then you increase the length of the middle bit. So at the moment this length was, did I say that was nine inches? You can make that 10, 12, 13, 40. You can make it as long as you wanted it to. You could increase the width of all of the pieces and make that w as wide as you want to. But if you have a one and a half inch triangle corner, that's the width of the bag that you're going to have. So you can make it wide, you can make it long, but that's the width. Bear in mind, oh, that was a bit of a mess. Well, it's not going to be in trouble now. Um, if you're going to make the, the corners bigger, so in, in which case this side bit is going to be longer, you're going to shorten that side, which is fine. Um, wine bottle length wouldn't stay in there long enough, Anne. So if you increase the size of the cutout corner, you can increase the width here and make it really boxy. But, um, oh, I've, I've, I'm glad you said that. I've missed a bit out. Um, but again, it's going to shrink it back that way. I hope, I hope that makes sense. I've sewn up the top bit and I haven't put the handle on. That's, that's your fault distracting me. Let me finish off these box corners and I'll show you what, what I should be doing. It's all right, there's a video coming out at five o'clock and it's all perfect on there. It's only about the sixth time I've made this bag. Gift bag's a nice idea. Yeah, I think you'd fit a wine bottle in the width if you just extended the length of it. That would be a, a very nice idea. Morning, Patty. Sometimes my husband used the camera. Oh, that's a good idea. Hmm. Right. Oh, no, I did. Oh, fine. Shouldn't have even said there was a problem. Let me make up the handle, and I'll show you where that goes. So this is um, three inches wide by nine inches long. I'm going to fold to the centre, fold to the centre, and fold in half. And I'm going to clip these because, um, whoops, I'd normally just press it, but it's got the fusible fleece on, so it's a little bit thick to do that now. So let's pop a clip here to the center, pop a clip there, and then across here. See, Lisa's multitasking today as well, as long, as long as it's not housework, Lisa. Right, there we go. And then we'll sew down 
both sides. Now I've put fleece on the handle and it makes it quite um, a nice sturdy little handle. If you're making the strap longer um, to go over the shoulder then maybe not pad it if you wanted it to be a little bit more floppy. Um, you could make a gusset Debbie but then you'd be looking at a completely different pattern for the bag. You wouldn't be doing the cut out corner bits if you're making a gusset. Right. Do you know, and, and Andrea, you're, you're absolutely right. Mistakes are not mistakes, they're learning curves. I know I've, I've said before, I'm sure, um, and I say it to Kimberly a lot, the second time you do something, it's always better than the first time. Um, so if, you, if you're sewing something and you make a mistake, and you think, oh, I'm going to have to start all over again, you're kind of glad you did when you get to the end of it because it, it's always better second time around. Um, so it really is a learning curve. And if you're making something up and it goes horribly wrong, I, I tell you, I've, I've said this story before, and I, I'm going back a long, long time now, but it, it really stuck in my mind. When I had driving lessons, so that would be 1977, I can remember my first driving instructor on Coal Lane in Borough um, I got into the car and he was telling me all about the controls and everything. Um, and we started to drive, and he says, now when you come to stop, put your foot on the clutch. I said, well, why? He said, well, don't and see what happens. So, of course, I didn't put my foot on the clutch. I put my foot on the brake and we kangarooed all the way down the road until I stalled it. And I thought that, that has taught me so much more than explaining why. Let, let me do it. Let, let me stall the car. Let me bump down the road because I, I probably have done it again. But then I know what happens when you do that and why you don't do it. So, I mean, yeah, mistakes, mistakes aren't mistakes. You're so right. They are a learning curve, aren't they? Mistakes are important. Unless you're showing people how to sew things live on TV, but there you go. Anyway, so I've made my strap. This is the top of the bag, so you can see where the zip is here. And I haven't, thankfully, um, sewn together the, the top corners because I need to put the strap in between them. So let's open this up a little bit. And then take the strap and push it inside so that it sits over the seam here and then I'm going to squish that closed so I'm trapping the strap in the seam now obviously the strap's got some shape so I'm going to push that inside and do the same again so it's sitting over the seam here let's squish that together and we'll clip it in place. Whoops. See Sarah was 17 then. And then I'm going to sew straight across. So just make sure that the handle's sitting straight. Again, it's a very lumpy when you get to the center. So there you go. If your machine's not coping very well, give it a little helping hand. Oh, I remember the 76 heat wave. That was when I left school. Um, and I can, I, do you know what I did? This is going to make you go, ooh. Um, I hadn't got a job because at, at those times you kind of left school, went to the, um, the local ads in the paper and applied for jobs. And there were loads going. Um, so in, in that summer holidays, I actually, st I, was, I climbed up on a chair to get something out of a top cupboard in my bedroom, stepped down off the chair into the litter bin and there was a broken bottle in there. So I spent most of the summer of 1976 in the garden um, with a bandage around my leg because I had stitches in my foot uh, with a plastic bag over it to keep the flies off. And I remember just spending weeks in the garden in that heat wave. It was so hot, wasn't it? Um, oh, Sarah. Yeah, so that was my summer. And then, um, then by you know, August, September time, I was told it, I really ought to get a job. So um, then you start looking through the papers and ended up working in a bank there you go right let's do the same with the second side here so 1976 was a very lazy heat wave 
I tell you that the second one I remember was um, was it 1990? That's when Kim was born, and we went. Was it 90? Yeah, we went um, on a um, a canal boat up and down the Thames, and I was out here pregnant, and it was so hot. And we took, um, I've got my eldest son there obviously, he'd have been about 10, and my niece who was the same age came as well. Uh, the number of times they plopped into that river. Um, where are we? Yes, Jean, well, I blame the weather. I'm blaming the weather for putting me off. It's all turning out okay. Anyway, this is what we've got. And turning up in the side this time. So we'll turn the whole thing through. A 22-year-old wastrel. What's a wastrel, Bonnie? Oh, <laughs> Mandy got burnt in 76. So we're turning everything through that turning up in the side. So what was in the charts in 76? Was, was Elvis still around then? I've, I've just, I think Elvis was very popular in 76. Were we getting into basic roller territory in... Because I think with 76, we were kind of over the Mark Bolans and David Cassidy's, weren't we? We were on to a new wave of boy bands to idolise. Right, come on through. Yes, Mary Bennett. My friend Christine was a mad fan of Elvis. Is it right you never came to the UK? Okay, so that's what we've got. So that's turned inside out once. So there's my turning up on the side. Um, 77 Elvis died, yeah. Slade. And then we're going to sew the opening closed. All right, there we go. Uh, normally I'd change the thread for the same color so you don't see it. Or you could hand sew that opening closed if you wanted to. So um, it's very... I wonder when the Osmonds kind of a bit over with by then. I, th I thought all of that, the Osmonds and the T-Rex and, and that era was kind of going off and the 70s ship. Well, we're getting into more, there was that punk? In, or was that, was that 78? Can't remember. Long time ago. Right. Basic Royals, Donny Osmond, David. Oh, yes, Danny, David, David both still popular now, isn't he? Yeah, you're right. Basic two rollers. Mandy, honestly. Which one was your favourite? Derek, Eric, Les. And another one. That's what we've got then. Oh, what a night. Let's turn this inside out. Not including what I do now, what was my favourite job? Oh, Sarah, do you know, I, I've been very fortunate in, in my career. I've had some really nice jobs. Um, before, I mean, I've, I've been, for the longest time I've been a TV presenter. Before I got, I got into presenting, I was modeling, um, which I, I really enjoyed. I was never, well, obviously never the six foot tall supermodel kind of thing, but I, most of my work was catalog work. But I traveled all over the place. Um, so one of my first ever modelling jobs when I was uh, about 18 was in Mustique in the Caribbean for um, Christian Dior Hosiery. I was out there for about three weeks. That was amazing. Um, when the kids were little, not, in fact all of them, yeah, but when the kids were little we used to model as families. Um, so it was only like very commercial stuff that I did, but we went all over the place. We went to Israel and stayed in a seven star hotel um, and, and photographed a brochure for them. Um, I did a lot for ferries. I, I remember going backwards and forwards to France quite a few times in the course of a couple of days. And Tyler, my, my youngest, who's 26 now, saying when we finished, have we started work yet? Um, and we used to do um, brochures for um, Butlins and, um, oh, what's the other one? The ones in show, uh, centre parks and that kind of thing. So it was like, just we went on holiday all the time, but got paid for it, it was great. So that was a nice job. I worked a while as um, a makeup artist. That was really enjoyable. Um, oh, go on, go to Sarah. You don't get models with barrel be bellies like I've got. 
Um, we've got to let's put our old farm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've done really. So the, the modelling bit was a very, very varied all, all over the place. It, it didn't last very long, to be honest, probably for about 10 years or so, but I, I really like that. Um, Punk started in 76. See, I, I, I don't know. Um, sorry, who was that? Was that Sarah? I was never a kind of a, oh, I can't move you down. Kirsty. Um, I, w I, I didn't, I was never into all of the, like the tartan and the safety pins and, and all that kind of thing, but I did like the stranglers. Gold and brown, because they were quite melodic, I thought. But now all the jumping up and down, pogoing, wasn't it? All that kind of thing, not my cup of tea. Um, anyway, we're supposed to be sewing, so stop it, we're sewing. So we're just about finished. I just want to give it a press and make it even more box shaped. So that's how we're looking now. Um, Nancy. Nancy worked for the FBI in 1969 at 17. <gasps> well, that sounds exciting, Nancy. Number ones in 70s, Elton John and Kiki D. Oh, do you know, I, I watched quite a lot. Um, the so 70s, a so. Now, so, so um, now 70s and 80s on Sky. And um, I, I was actually watching Kiki D and Elton John yesterday. I can't understand why, you know, you're on TV for the first time and you're with Elton John and you wear a pair of dungarees with knots in the top. Anyway, she looked lovely. Um, Nancy, aren't you old? A hippie girl. Oh, d if you've got pictures, love to see pictures. Hippie girl. So, if you were a sixties girl, were you were you all the um, uh, the flower power and the flowery headbands and the peace man and all that kind of thing? Nancy was fourteen in sixty nine. Oh, you're really old as well, aren't you? <laughs> you know, I'm joking. Mary was 21 in 69. Good grief. <laughs> I was nine in 69. Um, the weather disastrous last week. Andrew was one in 69. Oh, uh, Nancy, what did you do for the FBI? Can you say, are you sworn to secrecy? Need, need to know. See, Lisa Fenn was actually 34 in 69. Oh, I'm a cat mag. That's, that's an omen, isn't it? Throw an insult at Lisa and she throws a cat at me. <laughs> oh, really? Vivian Smith says, my brother-in-law who lives in Italy now does duets with Kiki D. She seems r really nice, doesn't she? I don't, I mean, never met her or anything, but um, 969 Sally, same age as me. <laughs> I, I am, I'm, I'm going to get more than cats thrown at me from Lisa and I'm going to get darts in the post or something I know <laughs> what I'm doing anyway let me show you I'm, I'm just pressing the corners to make it a little bit more squarish Therese was five in 69 Jackie just left school in 69 okay and I'm just going to square off the the corners on the base a little bit as well we're all old aren't we have we got anybody young watching <laughs> is there anybody here under the age of 40 karen jones's husband at the same primary school as me who does that then karen that's a that's a long time to go back so i probably won't remember um <laughs> Falana wasn't even a twinkle in 69. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, can you remember Clive? Oh, say hello. Right, I'm done. So, that's that. And again, if you are altering the size of this, by the way, don't make the lid any deeper. 
It needs to be that deep so you can actually get this under the sewing machine to box off the corners. Um, but when you think about it, you, you don't actually use the lid. And if that's any deeper than it is now, you're not going to be able to fold it back and actually get things inside there. So that's, um, that's, the pretty, that's pretty much that. Um, oh, Teresa, thank you very much. Do you know, I, I don't do anything. I, I kind of, I, I don't think skincare makes very much difference to my skin. Um, so I, uh, most of the time I don't do anything. If I've worn makeup, then I like um, the Garnier makeup, uh, Micellar, is it? I like those cleansers. And I like rose water as a toner. And then I forget to moisturize. I don't even own an, a moisturizer at the moment. That's bad, isn't it? But I don't. So I don't, I don't really do anything. I actually met J. Edgar Hoover. Did you, Nancy? Oh, what happens to you? Send me pictures. I love to see pictures. Um, never watch this when you're extremely tired of the lack of sleep. W voice is very soothing. <laughs> Am I sending you to sleep? I've, I have heard that before. Um, the Cornetto I'm eating is pretty young on here. Stephen, I'm glad you like the material. That's, that's available on the website there as well. Yeah, we need, uh, we need a, Nancy, a Nancy Hyde book. I'm thinking it, thinking it, I'm thinking it. I'm thinking floor length skirts and loads of beads. Love beads, remember those? Oh, right, oh, Kath, it's five o'clock. Mary, I thought it'd be done by now. Um, the, the video is this one. So it's, it's, a, it's a proper video of this without any of the chat. I made it earlier on today. Um, no skincare products like that, no wrinkles. <laughs> no, I forget. I'm just not. I don't know. I, I used to use a lot of skincare, but I, I don't think it's made any difference. Um, great time on Friday night. Oh, thank you, Mandy. Okay, I better go. So again, if you wanted to watch the, the YouTube video, uh, which is how to make the bag. In fact, it's this one that I make up, but without, <laughs> without the ditties and the chat and the reminiscing to the 1960s, um, then have a look on YouTube now, that's just gone on there. And I do give you the measurements on the description on YouTube for the two different sizes as well. So, uh, but I, I have explained, I hope, that you can change the sizes on there as well. Um, so, I should be back again. Thank you, Olivan. Um, coconut oil. That's a good idea, Susie. Glad you liked it, Amanda. Let me just check. Yeah, sorry about Facebook. If you were hoping to watch on Facebook, it never quite materialised for some reason. Um, just to let you know again, or remind you again, as far as the website's concerned, um, we will have new website going live on Monday. <laughs> to be honest, um, if you're going to place an order this week, I'd do it before the weekend because I don't know what's going to happen on Monday. Um, and those handles, if you want to order those, d do them now while you're watching because um, they're going to sell out and I'm going to be in trouble anyway. So, right, so I shall see you on Saturday at 2 o'clock on the Half Yard Club Facebook Live and on YouTube Live for the Sew Along. Have a look on Facebook and I'll, it'll tell you the materials that you need if you want to just make a little triangular pouch with us then. So you enjoy the rest of the week. I am now back in 1969. I can't wait to hear what Nancy's been doing. Thank you, Miss Nancy. And um, you take care of yourselves and I'll see you again on Saturday. Bye-bye.